Hi and welcome to the third week of our winter play quilt pattern sew along. And thank you so much to everyone who participated in last week fabric plus pattern giveaway. I was so happy to be hosting that. So now that we have our logs prepared, I mean, we have all our units cut. It's time to make the quarter blocks. As you can see, this is the final result of the quarter blocks that we're going to be sewing today. I have prepared also, this is the block number one or quarter number one, while this is going to be the quarter number two. So it's going to be very easy as we have everything prepared. So let's get started. Using the diagrams provided in the pattern and paying close attention to the orientation of the strip set units, pin and sew locks. The basic lock cabin structure of quarters of quilt blocks one and two is a center shape surrounded by uh, strips or locks. Use the table on page six to create the required number of blocks and inner borders for your desired quilt size. Okay, we are making the quarter number one. We're using the diagrams provided in the pattern and we're paying close attention to the orientation of the strip set units. We are pinning and then we're sewing the logs. We are starting from the central fabric and central piece or square in fabric C, and we are piecing it to the next one, which is in unit AD. So paying close attention to our precision in sewing and sum allowance, preferably this quant one, we are piecing these two uh, squares in order to obtain this rectangle. So for the sake of this video, of course, I had to prepare the uh, units before. We are doing the same with these two squares in order to obtain the newly rectangle, which is this one. Then we're continuing and we are pinning and sewing these two uh, units together and we are obtaining this new six and a half inches square. You have everything, all the measurements and uh, everything is provided in the diagram. So I think it's going to be easy to follow them. The only thing which is very, very important with sewing these logs together is the precision in piecing. So just keep precise scant quarter seam inch allowance, which is basically important for every new addition of the every single unit. So we are continuing. We are going to be adding this ACA unit to this one, and we are going to obtain the newly, the new rectangle, which would be this one. Then we will be sewing these two together, obtaining this new rectangle. And now, of course, we are going to be sewing these two together in order to obtain this new square. So we are continuing and we are adding these two together. It's very, very important to, to check your seams, to, to check your position in sewing because it will take a minute before everything can go and can shift a little bit over one side. So just check them. And okay, uh, we are also making sure that once we are pinning everything, that everything is aligned nicely in order to have everything nice and even. So we have added uh, this one. And of course, we soon also these two together in order to have this new rectangle. And now everything that is left is to sew these two together. And we are going to sew this rectangle, another 11 inch one, to this square in fabric A in order to obtain this new rectangle. So after joining this one, we are going to add this to this rectangle. And finally, we are going to obtain our new quarter one of this pattern. So this is the quarter one. And of course, we are going to repeat the same process to obtain the quarter two, which is this one. I really love this one in green. I don't know about you, but I cannot wait to assemble four of these together in order to obtain the blocks using, of course, the inner borders. I like to sew in batches, so I have all the same units, uh, let's say pin or clip together, so I'm just chain piecing them all together.
as you can see, I also placed and pinned, and I'm sewing now from the second part of two uh, units together. I hope that you enjoyed this short little video, and I also hope that you found something interesting in my previous two videos. This is only the preview of what's coming next in the next week, so stay tuned and happy 4th of July to every one of you who will be celebrating it. Bye till next time!